Lazel, why are you like that? We must press forward. Let's deal with Kethrick, then find Voss in Baldur's Gate. Kethrick Thom. We've been reading about him. I I've just never been putting things together. All right. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, it's time for bed. The voice of the absolute is strong here. Hi. And getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. <laughs> Why are you dressed like that? I thought I thought we were. You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing. Saving those people in the grove. It wasn't even a choice. They needed my help. Not everyone would have helped. The hurt runs deeper than he's willing to show you. What is it? The voice of the Absolute. Stronger this time. Beneath the resilient veneer, a touch of fragility. He needs comfort. I'm gonna hold him close to me. It's been a very long time since someone did that. For me. I hope you don't mind. Mind? I'm grateful. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave, a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. He's the... It feels like he's the tadpole. Like the... The... Ink, the, the personification of the tadpole. Is there anything I can do to help you? I'm afraid this burden is one I have to carry alone. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. In any case, the Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. No. Yeah, yeah like, what he's saying here, he, it's the box. It's not... It's not the... It's not the tadpole. The Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It's the box. It's the artifact. Why does the Absolute want you? I am the only one who can resist the Absolute's influence. Hence its fear of me. It's... It's desperation. Unfortunately... That also means it is dedicating more and more resources to my retrieval. The task ahead is monumental. But we're all that stands between victory for the Absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. You must infiltrate Moonrise Towers. Discover the secrets of the Absolute and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. Now I must rest. And you must carry on. Do not let my efforts be in vain. I'll try not to. I wonder if our companions are going to say anything about this. Because I imagine they are not having this dream anymore. 
Because the, the Guardian must have been fishing. Or, not the Guardian, but the, the artifact must have been just been fishing for whoever would help him. And it, he shows up to everybody. Speak your mind. I'm listening. That's very nice of you, Lazel. But you don't say anything about that. Shah's blessings upon you. Hmm. I also don't know why he changed his, his, uh, his out outfit. Always a delight to speak with you. What can I do? My god, dude, that helmet is just... Why Why does the game do that? Why does the game not re remember that I, I, I hid their helmets and they fucking show? It's so silly. It looks so bad. Anyway, let's... Uh, I need to talk to Carlac. I think we're going to need to sleep again. What is she doing? She's like... Is she tidying up her hair? I think she is. I mean, it doesn't doesn't look like it, but I think it is. Yeah. Soldier. All right. Uh, let's go sleep again. I think. Oh. Don't say a word. Just listen. Okay. I'm just gonna listen. A parasite grips my mind. My own people hunt me. But I am gnawed by an even greater torment. You. My thoughts are hallowed ground. Yet you've crawled your way in. Uninvited. I'm obsessed by the ground under your feet and the wind over your head. I see your face just before I sleep and after I wake. I ask myself, are you worthy? Sakvonas do. There is only one way for you to prove it. Slaying our enemies in coldest blood? <sighs> A fine sentiment. But I require more. We fight. I test you in battle. Dance with me. Bleed with me. Bruise me so that you might possess me. Hmm. <laughs> Prepare yourself and prove your worth to me. Do it then. Make me yours. Oh. With the uh, weapons? Holy crap. I can't do that. No, she's gonna kick my ass. <laughs> what? She's gonna kick. Why does she fight? She fights so much. She fights just so much. She's gonna kick my ass so much. Um. Okay. Okay. Um. Hunter's Mark. Casts. Press shift. Okay. So we have some stealth that we can do. She's gonna... This is bad. This is really bad. We're... We could do Path Without Trace. Or Pass Without Trace. Um, Dread Ambusher. Let's see. The 45% chest hit. <laughs> Holy crap. She is outside of my normal range, but I don't think it matters. Uh, I don't... Uh, maybe it does, actually. Let's get a little bit closer. All right. 70%. Yeah, I have advantage. Okay. 35. Okay, yeah, yeah. At least with the advantage, we can do something. Because of uh, attacking from shadows. Nice. Oh. Did I f miss? No, no, no. When it makes it... Oh, I can turn this into a critical hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Go for it. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. The problem is I'm gonna need to hit her in melee. <laughs> All right, uh, so with a critical, she's not even half health. That's good news. Oh, okay, I take it back. It's definitely not good news. Oh my God, I'm so, I'm so dead. I'm, I'm running. Best me, prove your excellence. Uh, let's charm. She saves. Scar. 
Lazel's touch is unusually gentle. Her fingers lightly graze your bruises and wipe away your sweat. No, Momo. I can't bear it. I've torn flesh from monsters and men. I've laughed as they suffered. But you... I don't want to hurt you. I want to protect you. For you to protect me. I am yours. Say the words. I am yours. Right answer. Jacques Fonash do. Source of my bruises. Oh, that's what it means. <sighs> so much blood. Holy crap. At least I'm not injured anymore. That was really beautiful. Considering, you know, it's everything. It was, it was. Speak your mind. I'm listening. I'd like to talk about us. I'm listening. I, there's many options here. The first option is I would like to kiss you. Here, now. If it weren't apparent, it should be. I'm not keen on such outward displays of our flesh bond. I can scowl and purse my lips and show her my discontent. <laughs> I can respect that. Good. Let there be no doubt. I have marked you as you have me. In time, we might brazenly bear our marks. That time's not yet come. What am I to you? You are Jacques Vonash Du, source of my bruises. My bruises still sting from our battle. Exquisite, isn't it? The pain is a mutual promise branded on our flesh and bone. Inside your every wound lives my obsession. Inside my every wound lives your passion. All right. Hmm. Huh. That was really cool. But I don't think anybody else wants to say anything. Always a delight to speak with you. What can I do? Wait. Yeah, I, I really don't like that. I mean, I suppose it makes sense. But the, it, there is a... There's, it makes sense because obviously Lazel... At least Lazel uh, is very clearly monogamous. At least the way she talks about it. I don't know. I feel I feel like the the focus of ro telling a romance shouldn't be oh who am I going to be exclusive to or something like that. And it kind of feels like that's what the game is going is is going, which is you know it's 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 very common in romances, but whatever. About before, I'm sorry it had to come to a choice between you and Lazel. I, um, thought you would show me the respect of telling me first, but no matter. You can tell me now. Who is it to be? Me or her? Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. The second option is interesting. Just because I share something with Lazel doesn't mean you and I need to drift apart. Is that true? Because I'm here for the story. I'm I'm here for the plot, if you know what I mean. I'm it's liter like figuratively and literally. The literally is I'm really here for the plot, and figuratively because I'm here for the plot, if you know what I mean. So just because I share something with Lazel doesn't mean you and I need to drift apart. Hmm. We'll have to disagree on that score. Competing against a Gith Yankee warrior would be. Very poor for my health. I'm sorry. But to know I had less than the whole of your heart. I can't do it. No one I would give all of myself to you. Call me greedy, stubborn, old fashioned. I wouldn't call you that though. But I cannot change who I am. Or how I love. But it's kinda of, it's kind of a little bit of lampshading, honestly. In any case. Know that I harbour no ill will. I would rather see you happy with another than not 
not happy at all. You know what? I choose you, Gale. And I will probably get a lot of bruises for it. But... I choose you. You would sacrifice what you have with Lazelle for me. So will not be pleased. This is really bad. This is gonna be so bad. <laughs> This is gonna be so bad. I'm, I'm, this, I, I'm doing it for, for how interesting it is as a, as a progression. There's no, like, there's no, none of the, this is so gamey though. But this is so gamey because, like, in in the serious setting, he would have told me. Like, I had no idea. He just said, I said, I, we want to kiss. I want to kiss you or something. I wasn't. It wasn't even that. I was just like, I, I imagined holding hands or something like that. And it was like, oh yeah, that's nice. See you later, right? And then it's like, oh, I would give you all of my heart. I cannot survive without being married for life. I am so old fashioned. And I'm just like, dude, chill. We just punched a little bit, which is fine. But it is very gamey, so it just sort of takes me out a little bit. But, but Gale has an interest. I like Gale. Uh, I like his, uh, the way he's written, but not just... It's not the way he's written that I like. Well, I like the way he's written, but the... Um, the scenes with him are not utilitarian. They're very, like, focused on how pretty it is. For example, the the casting magic scene. I think there was another scene that I recall. But the casting magic scene, it was a pretty scene. He wasn't there to, to advance anything. It was just like, let's have a good time with Gale. And I thought that was really nice. And I kind of want to see that. I kind of want to see where that goes. But... I don't know, I kind of want to... Cadillac... Sorry, not Cadillac. Lazel. She scares me a little bit. You know? I... I... I can't... I, I'm, I'm back... I'm flip-flopping here. I'm just... <laughs> I'm gonna choose option number three. I want to see where it goes with Lazel. I'm sure... I'm sure his romance is lovely. But... You're right. I can't let her down. I'm sorry, Gail. I, I choose her. Don't apologize. You must not deny your heart's desire. I would not want you to. I won't leave. Not unless you want me to. Or until fate forces my hand. If your friendship is all we have, then I will be happy to have it. Eventually. So you don't hate me? I could no more hate you than I could go without air. You big drama baby. <laughs> <laughs> Although no, it's fair. He's uh, he he uh, he his love for me escalated a lot since last we talked. Honestly, because he his reaction I think may be the same no matter what state we're in, uh, in in our relationship. But I think we were sort of in in a relationship a little. So uh, let's see who else I was in a relationship. Will well met. That's true. I will see you later. What about you, Halson? You wish to speak? No, I don't, actually. You don't say anything. That's, this is, this is, uh... I love, I love the, the reactivity, but there's... Because it's so nice, everything, the dialogues are so nice, I get into the nitpicks. And the nitpicks are... They're still not there. They're still not there. There's still some details. Shah's blessings upon you. But I still, I still say that we should have uh, non-romantic paths with every character. We should be able to get nice scenes with them. I hear you found a new lover. So, will you dedicate yourself entirely to your new true love? Is this the end of our late-night trysts? Even though they were an awful lot of fun. Actually, I don't know. I can be with both with you both if you're comfortable with that. I don't know if Lazel is though. I didn't ask. Oh, I am in no way comfortable with that. Lazel would never approve, and I value my life too much to get on her bad side. Well, you know her better than I do, I suppose. Um, are you sure you don't want to give it a try? <laughs> Trust me, you will have more than enough on your plate without me there too. This is for the best. All right. It is for the best. It's just so much blood. Oh, that's Lazel's blood. It's not mine. Mine is over there. 
I've noted your growing obsession with me. You favor me above a Starian. I suppose I should be flattered. And I am, to be truthful. You're flattered? I thought you were above that kind of sentiment. Why should I not want to be wanted? This is not sentiment. It is a hunger to be satisfied. No, no, it is, it is sentiment. <sighs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, boy. What's on your mind? Nothing. Yeah, I mean, I'm still wondering. We're still waiting right next to Damon's place. Uh, speaking of which, we should leave camp. Uh, but I'm still wondering who she's going to touch. Cause she didn't say nothing. Maybe we need to sleep again. Let's go. Shah's blessings upon you. I want to talk about all that's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up in your estimations? Does it even need to be asked? We're beyond me merely liking you. I think I'm a different person owing to you. Really? All right. I mean, you are... Way I do give you... Oh, we have things out of place. I do give you things to wear that are... <laughs> that are very much not fitting of you. But... Let's go to sleep. Ah, sleeping right next to the blood. Oh, my God. Look at that. But no. Nobody wants to say anything. So let's go back out. Damon? It's you. What are the odds? So glad you're all right. Well, as all right as any of us. A makeshift Harper's Fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. I do have interesting materials. What do you mean exactly, though? I hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove, for obvious reasons. But no one has earned my trust, if not you. When... Elturel was dragged into Avernus. I was drafted into a devil's smithy. It should have been awful. But infernal metal is like a wild horse. Powerful, exuberant. It'll kill you if you lack technique. I can sense some. Smell it almost. Somewhere in the area. Underground, maybe. Out there in the shadows. If you find it... Bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. I actually have found it. But also, I'm not a horse person, knowledgeable person, person. But I'm pretty sure wild horses are not powerful in comparison to, you know, bred horses, domesticated horses, because they are bred to be as powerful as it gets. It's like, no, that's that's not how wild horses are. Unless you've been watching too many movies, Damon. But, yeah. Um... It sounds like you had an interesting time in the hills. Some of us had it easier than others. The baker, the schoolmaster. When Elturel was swallowed up, they could do little but survive. As for me, I won't say I enjoyed my time there, but it was certainly instructional. I can imagine. I think I found a, a material you could work with. What can you make of it? It's infernal. Infernal iron. It's the same thing that we used for Carlax heart. Absolutely. Rare to get your hands on this stuff. Well done keeping it to hand. Yeah, I have backpacks. There you are. Be careful who you show that to. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. What you do? A flawed Helldusk armor. Okay, I like that. Speaking of armor, uh, you need to do that. Why are you all out of position? Get. Was it because we fought? It is because we fought. Okay. What is this thing? It's heavy armor. Ooh. Lazel. 
Ooh, actually, Shadowheart. What is... Was it? Oh, yeah, Shadowheart, most likely. Because she can wear this. Oh, but she loses... Eh. She loses the armor cost proficiency. She actually may benefit from that. Because it's a plus... It's, it's plus. Anyway. When you are hit by a foe within two meters, it might take 1d4 damage. It's lesser infernal retribution. All right. You take one less piercing damage. Disadvantage on stealth checks. No armor class bonus from dexterity. It's it's pretty great. I mean, this is pretty great. When the wearer deals radiant damage, they cause radiation uh, a radiant shockwave. Can you wear that? She looks really good. That is a beautiful, beautiful set of armor. Does it change the gloves? No. But it goes well with the gloves. Despite the gloves actually being luminous armor. I'm going to hang on to this over here. But it does bring our armor class up by one. And that's the only that's the only thing. It's just, you know, it's a, it's it's effectively a 16 armor class medium armor because you also have No wait, medium armor doesn't give you or this one anyway, doesn't give you disadvantage on stealth checks, which is fine. I think uh that is still breathing despite everything. That is just holy crap, what a beautiful set of armor. Shah's blessings upon you. Oh, we're not going to be able to see that very well. All right. Um that is so gorgeous. Holy crap. Anyway, um, is that the only thing? What else do I have? Maybe a Damantine Slag? I doubt it. Where are you? Where did he go? Oh, that's Skywin. Oh, there you are. Need anything? Oh, yeah, I need to trade. Good point. Sword of Life Stealing. A short sword. On critical hit, the target takes in an extra 10 necrotic damage. As long as it isn't a construct or an undead, because they're immune to that, I assume. You also gain 10 temporary hit points. It's amazing. Safeguard shield for plus one saving throw. Saving throw, plus one. <laughs> Just saving throw. The one saving throw. You gain proficiency with short swords, long swords, and great swords. In addition, you gain a plus one bonus to melee attack rolls. That's really good. All right. I'll be here if you need anything else. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, taking care of things. Need anything? Oh. I am br I'm I'm bringing all of my items, but um, I found some hellish masks. Can you make anything of these? Using something that's already fabricated is tough, but I can try. How many do you have? Four. I got I got a bunch of them. Yeah. Hmm. I thought I sniffed American scent somewhere. These must have been a pain to get a hold of. American masks are brittle. So what I make won't last as long as my usual pieces. There's no durability in this game. What are you talking about? Oh man, look at how beautiful that is. Holy crap, that armor. There. Be careful who sees you using that. You might draw the wrong sort of eyes. Orthon explosives. Orthon explosive. Where are you putting these? Oh, the I-4. Right, right, right. Right there. Okay. Now, to sell the rest of the stuff. Need anything? That was really surprising. These are so expensive. These are so expensive. I may actually buy one of these things. I am ready.
I'm actually gonna buy a new shield for Lazel. And perhaps I should buy these. Because they can be really good. I'm also gonna get this life stealing thing. Because it's a plus two weapon it, and it's an upgrade for me. It's also very expensive. And but we have plenty of money. So, not a problem. I'll be here if you need anything else. Thank you. But not with more items. Anyway, the this weapon is better than this Githy Yankee sword, which uh, Lazel will carry. Actually, can she carry that? She cannot. She's too way too over encumbered. It's fine. This may be a good set of gloves for me, but I would have to change them. It may also be a good set of gloves for Lazel. It's just it's a, it's a good set of gloves. And this is Carlax's new shield. But we're super over encumbered, so we're just gonna look around a little. It's gotta be more people, more traders in here, right? Look at that. that no, that's stamina. Can I zoom out? No, there's gotta be more traders in here. Let's look around. 